Hi, Lawrence here from Atkin Guitars. Today we're going to talk about where to place a strap button on our guitars. Now our guitars have a bolt-on neck system with two bolts. Okay, so here's a, a neck we've prepared for fretting. So you can see we've got some inserts here and if you look at the neck block, you see on this side, you can see where the bolts go through there. So we want to be careful we don't drill into these bolts. Um, so there's a measurement, 45 millimeters, which you need to be aware of. And if you use that 45 millimeters, you're gonna get a nice happy spot between these two bolts, okay? So you can use a ruler. Um, I like to use calipers like this. So this is from the top of the fretboard. So right, right there next to the binding. Okay, so if we take this, this guitar here, and let's say this for an Atkin. It's not an Atkin, but we can experiment with it for the purposes of this video. We can go like that with our calipers and make a small mark there and that's pretty well centered to my eye and then you can use something like this I like to use an awl and we can make that a bit nicer for the drill and I'm going to go in with a two and a half millimeter drill bit okay so that's in two and a half millimeters here we have the countersink this is from Stumac it's the non-chip version it's very good at protecting finishes okay that's a great thing to widen the top of the hole to stop it chipping the finish and that's all you need and then we get our aged strap button so these will be available shortly okay and then you screw that in ideally with a ph2 screwdriver that's gonna that's going to get a nice purchase on the, on the screw like that. And we're done.